Going in with my Morphe 350 palette. Go ahead and start off using this Moda Detail Brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade, well, I don't know what shade name it is, but it's kind of a dark chestnut brown color. I'll kind of put that in the crease. Of course, knock the excess off the brush. I'm going to start putting that in the crease. It's like a pretty chestnut color. Just to give the crease some dimension, if you will. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and go on in with... Let me see here. Where is that? My shading brush from Moda. And I'm going to go in with this more burnt orange shade. It's a burnt orange shade in the palette. Go in with it over that same color. Lightly, of course. Okay. I'm going to go in with some more orangey color. Orange shade. And go above that just slightly. Hopefully I can see all oh, the cars been acting like shit. Um, my husband lost his job because he wasn't able to make it in because of the car. So that's that. Hopefully he can find another job soon. Because if he doesn't, then we're going to be homeless. So I decided to come on here just to relieve stress, basically. Um, so yeah. That's our life right now. Just going in, buffing all these colors, and then I'm going to go in with my Moda shading brush and just kind of go over all that and just really buff it all together really well. And then, let me see, I was thinking of doing something, but I don't know. I'll try to do shimmers. I think I'm going in with this copper shade here. With this smudge brush. It's like a copper shade that's in the palette. I'm going with a lighter shade too. Um, probably this more lighty, light gold tone. I'm going to kind of like marry the two together right here in the middle. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go back in with that shading brush. Go ahead and go on the top right here and just shade it in more. And there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this detail brush and kind of darken it up just a little tiny bit. Right here in this area. So I want it to be more darker, so with the shading brush and darken it up a bit. Of course, get that axis color off. And with that. Alright, and there y'all have it.